Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Farmer Envoy Extreme and this time I'm going to show you that everything you need to know about greenhouses in Farm Simulator 22. If this is you're looking for, then please stay tuned. So, alrighty then folks, here we are, and this is going to be a little quick intro and how to run greenhouses in Farm Simulator 22. So, compared to FS19, with greenhouses on FS19, all you had to do was plop it down, fill it with manure and water, and you get a set amount of income per in-game hour, depending on what economy sensor you're using, and as well depends on what mods you're using. However, Greenhouse is part of the base game in FS22, and it's a bit different. For one, you no longer need manure. That's right, folks. If you're not aware, greenhouses in FS22 only need water. So, if you have a look here, and we go open this, go inside, and I can see income materials only needs water. And the output of these is either tomatoes, lettuce, or strawberries. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to pop one down over here. So to do this, you have to go to construction in build mode. Then you go up, go across to productions, down to greenhouses, and then you've got three options. Small, medium, or large greenhouse. Uh, for, for this little demonstration, I'm just going to put one here. Yes, let's put one. I'll say around there. That's about right. It, it does a bit of landscaping, and to be honest, I haven't had that much issues with landscaping. And if you're not a fan of like, there's like these bits around the edges, then all you have to do is simply keep until I put some grass in. But overall, not too bad. So to get it started, of course, we need to input water. So we'll go and grab. This is what we've got over here, the Mack truck with some water, I think. We'll start the engine. There we go, we'll get cracking on. And we'll just go over here. And we should just be able to pull up over here and hit the hat. Let's get over forward. There we go. So press R1 in triangle. That will unload the water, and I think this takes about 5,000 litres or so. Yeah, something like that. To exit that, yes, we're blocking the road, but yeah, so... 5,000 litres. For medium, it will hold 10,000 litres of water, and for large, at the back, that will hold 20,000 litres. So, what we have to do is open this by pressing circle on the PlayStation controller. Press L3. And then this is our new small greenhouse. And what we have to do is press X to activate, first of all. And you can see the state is, is now running. So you can do a mix of stuff, or you could do one or the other. Pretty much is up to you. At the moment, I'm doing strawberries. I am on one on this video and two on my Let's Play on Hold um, Better On. And that is because I want to up here, I've got all the production stuff. So if you go up to the bakery, see the bakery, cakes, amongst all the things it needs, it needs strawberries. So with lettuce and tomatoes, as far as I'm aware, they're not needed elsewhere in the production chain. No, they're not. So if you want to go further into the production chains and expand, I recommend doing strawberries. However, you can do lettuce, you can do tomatoes. And as you can see here, we've got recipes. And what's that? Basically, what it is, it tells you what you need to input and what you get in the outcome. So, for example, with tomatoes, 16 units of water produces 16 units of tomatoes, in this case, liters. Lettuce, it's 16 to 5. And strawberries, it's 16 to 32. And if we go up here, we go to the medium, it's of course different, you get more because it's a bigger size. So for medium, tomatoes is a one-to-one -one with water, 
with water to lettuce is 0.5 and then water to strawberry is a, a factor of 2. What I mean by that is like for example 28 times 1 is 28, 28 times 0.5 is 14 and 28 times 2 is 56. So what I say is by a factor of 2 or a factor of whatever that means how much you get more in terms of what you input. And for large, again, it's 64 litres of tomatoes, 464 litres of water, 32 litres of lettuce, and 128 litres of strawberry. Now, so let's say if you do want to do anything and uh, you just want to go and sell it. So if we go to prices, and if we tab all the way down here, we can have a look at some of the prices. So on this map, Elm Creek, lettuce, you can sell them at four different sell points. Same with tomatoes and five with strawberries. The only difference is strawberries has the additional of the bakery sell point you can sell at. And as you can see, the prices are reasonably good actually. So I mean, this is actually quite good. And why is that? That is because we're in February and that is the best time to sell these, um, I can say crop, um, these items. So let's say if you're running seasons and you want to make her use of it, my ideal strategy would be store it somewhere. If it hits its capacity, take it out, move it somewhere else, and then sell it in January or February. Or to be honest, you can sell it in November onwards. I see here where it says, or where it shows it's the green, that means the price is going up, if that makes sense. And I think the lines are like, say where they're at, I think, I'm not sure. But anywho, so yeah, that is that, and what about the output, you may ask? They come out in neat little pallets over here, and guess what? These are handleable by hand on the base game, no Superman strength or whatever. And uh, can you chuck these? Yeah, you can chuck them a little bit, not too far. Put them on any trailer you want, so we'll put some on here. And as you can see, because we're at the maximum capacity of strawberries, uh, what it would do, well, when you go over the set amount of pallets, sorry. Let's say if we move this one, and we chuck you over there for now. Look, another one comes out straight away. So, you don't have to worry about it, so if it, all the pallets are full, uh, you wouldn't be getting any more. No, you'll still get pallets produced. Of course, you won't get any more if you reach the actual maximum capacity of the said greenhouse, for example, where... A maximum capacity for tomatoes and I'll get strawberries first eventually I will get lettuce and tomato pallets however because I've done strawberries first you got sell the strawberries or at least move the pallets out of the spawn point before they get up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to stack this up as neatly as I can and let's go and sell this shall we folks Alright folks, so yeah, we've got this sewed up. I want to do some more. We've got about 7,000 litres of strawberries on there. But it is starting to lag really bad. Just look at that. Very laggy. So yeah, that was just a little quick demonstration. And as well with these pallets, they all do take up one slot count each. So that's one thing to note. So... Strawberries, where could we sell those to? Let's sell them at the bakery, I think. And so we demonstrate this, so we go... Go to you, set destination. Nope, create job, sorry. Okay, won't let us tell all the delivery, so what we'll do is we'll do that. And say, well, you'd go down to there. And start job. Target is unreachable, it ain't. But yeah, let's quickly get down there, shall we, folks? We can sell this here, and let's go around, flip, and then crash again. It wouldn't sell there, but obviously you can manually sell it yourself, or let's say, if, like, say, in this circumstance, so you've got vast quantities, all you have to do is go to greenhouses, put them all on running. I don't think you have to put them on running, no you don't. And then you can have options to sell, store or distribute. Storing means the greenhouse will store it as it has been doing. Sell it, it will sell at a sell point. 
and then distribution or distribute it was distribute it to the appropriate facilities down the production like for example strawberries to the bakery um let's use another example flour flour goes to the bakery sugar beet and all that but yeah let's say honey and that will go to here oats and that yeah basically sort of get the drift of things so yeah if we go and uh, put everything to sell mode sell 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 and sell go to one down here sell 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 so yeah that, what i'll do is that will set it and if we fast forward time a bit we'll see if it's daily or if it's every hour they'll set it here the money's been going up slightly it's about 20 pound per in-game hour and, and i'm pretty sure that's that it's nothing to do with else other things i've got they've all got no other production stuff going i have a check in here so yeah, cycles per hour and cost per hour. So oh yeah, all these have like running costs in that. So yeah, see it's gone to eight eight three, and let's skip until tomorrow and see what happens then. I do take sort of that back of what I said. And just with selling, from what I can gather, it will only sell from what you've got inside. So for example. If you got stuff in storage that will not go down. So for example, if we fast forward time, we're at twelve thousand eight hundred and ninety-nine liters of strawberries. We'll put it active, see if that makes any difference. Yeah, I think what it is is when it's produced within the greenhouse, instead of it being stored outside, it will set it straight away. So that's possibly that. So let's have a look here. Does that go down? No, it does not. So if you've got massive amounts of strawberries on the outside, then fortunately the only way you can get rid of them is sell them. And same with distribution. You can take these down to the sell points on, on like the bakery now and transfer it over manually, not automatically. So for example, you take a bit of strawberries over to one facility a bit of honey to another facility and then so on and so forth so yeah that's a pretty much rundown thing so place it down put water in let it run and then you kind of sell automatically or manually if you want it automatically done make sure you do it before you get any pads coming on the outside elsewise you're going to manually sell it for greenhouses i personally i use strawberries options are perfectly viable but but anyways if you found this video helpful or informative anyway shape or form make sure you smash that button favorite button down below everyone shares and please be my guest if you're not subscribed to the channel yet then please consider uh, it would be much appreciated but very cheers to do hope everyone has a nice day but for now this is me farmer envoy extreme and i'll see you all uh, very soon